2 forecast. Well, we don't have any wintry conditions across the Miami Valley to speak of. In fact, temperatures are still running well above the average for this time of the year. Throughout the day today, we didn't get to see any sunshine. We have been stuck in the clouds today with cloudy skies overhead, and those clouds have brought in periods of drizzle from time to time, as you can see on our Goodwill Easter Seals tower camera here. Uh, looks a little bit brighter right now, but generally we've had cloudy skies, and Live Doppler 2 HD is quiet, so that's some good news as we go throughout the day. But this evening we are still under those clouds and we may even still see some patchy areas of drizzle and overnight tonight there may even be a few patches of fog as well. But lots of clouds throughout the Midwest and the Ohio Valley but really no organized area of precipitation so that's some good news. We're not looking at any threat of severe weather, no winter weather here tonight, cloudy skies and mild temperatures during the overnight hours. Right now 45 degrees in Bell Fountain as well as in Eaton and, and Troy at this hour, 49 degrees in Wilmington, 47 in Xenia. We do have those clouds overhead and that'll actually help to keep temperatures up during the overnight hours. Right now we have 47 in downtown Dayton. Southwest winds at 7 miles an hour. Barometers at 29.88 inches. If you do have plans to catch some of those last minute holiday lights before they go away for the rest of 2021, if you're going out to Clifton Mills or to any holiday light displays, it shouldn't be too bad temperature wise. We're looking at temperatures generally in the 40s and slowly uh, the temperatures will drop during the overnight hours and generally cloudy skies and there could again be that patchy area of drizzle. Anyone who knows anyone that's going to the Cotton Bowl here in um, Dallas, we are looking at temperatures in the 70s for the game for the Bearcats on Friday. Their kickoff time is at 3.30. They may see an isolated shower or storm. If you're staying here at home, though, for New Year's Eve, we are looking at rain chances here for New Year's Eve. Actually, one of our warmer temperatures will be right at midnight. There will be some scattered showers, but New Year's Day looks very soggy, and we'll actually see temperatures slowly sliding through the day through the 50s and turning colder. Future track shows that we still have that spotty areas of light rain or drizzle as we go through the overnight hours. Not everybody will see that. We'll generally just see cloudy skies and temperatures will be slow to drop off because of those clouds. And we do have an approaching warm front and that warm front will usher in warmer air for tomorrow and also increase the chances of rain as we go into your Friday and especially Friday night into Saturday before cold front swings through on Saturday. So tonight, cloudy skies, patchy drizzle. There may even be a little bit of fog out there. Temperatures only drop a couple degrees down to about 41 degrees. So still above average for the high temperature for this uh, time of the year for that low tonight. Tomorrow, unseasonably mild as that warm front approaches us. We'll see a few light showers on and off through the morning and during the day tomorrow. But the heaviest and the steadiest rain comes in overnight tomorrow night into Saturday. As we look ahead to your Storm Team 2 extended forecast here Saturday, we'll see falling temperatures on New Year's Day. Good day to stay inside and watch some of those bowl games because we'll see that rain continuing throughout the day. Then Saturday night turning much colder, chances of snow showers uh, Saturday night into Sunday and we're actually back to seasonable weather with highs in the 30s on Sunday and Monday. Looks like we'll see some sunshine as we go into next